Hey, it's me, Biggie B, Bees Industries, at the office with the coffee. We're going to do a little training today, building connected. We're going to jump right in and just do like a first time training. This would be after you started an account. I could do another video to show you how to start an account, I suppose, but this would be like after you started an account and you know what do you what are the what do you need to do to grow your account and start getting invitations to bid so and how to manage those invitations to bid so let me share my screen and then we'll jump right into it OK, here I got the. Uh, login window. Again, this is after you already started an account. It's uh, owned by Autodesk. They bought it a couple few years ago. Which tells me it's actually good software because Autodesk does not uh, acquire garbage. Some of you subcontractors that have been in the residential game and the residential market, general contractors, subcontractors, and now you're looking more towards the commercial projects. Obviously, this is one of your best vehicles to to get those invitations. So now we're logged in. And uh, this is what your home page looks like. Um, your bid board. Undecided, accepted, submitted one. I'm going to start here with these undecided projects. See, these have no date. Sometimes the, the invitations, they come through in a weird way like that. Not all the information's there. But see, these are old 1-8-2024. Today is uh, the 14th. So these are past due, so I'm not even going to try to mess with these because the bid dates past due and I got plenty more to get after besides these. Um, if some GC were to call me and ask me if I was going to bid on one of these old jobs, I could go dig them out of the trash, but it's rare to almost never that they do. So I'm going to delete these and we want to get proposals turned out before the deadlines, obviously. So I'm just going to delete these and get us caught up. Uh, every once in a while, these some of these get stuck in here, like this one from. Uh, let's see, June 26, 2023. I can't get rid of it when I hit decline. It gives me this error message. I have no idea why. It's, just a glitch in the software. It's been it's been that way since uh, June of last year. I can't get rid of that, so I'll just leave it. Accepted. Um, obviously, I've accepted jobs that I didn't get to in time. Unfortunately, I'm a little overworked, so I can't get to all these jobs. I have a lot of invitations to bid. On these, I'm going to change the status. I don't I don't want them in my accepted. I'm going to change the status to declined, which is going to automatically archive it once I hit save. So rather than have a bunch of archived uh, accepted projects. I myself like to change them to declined. That way, when I go back and do my metrics over the year. I don't. Uh, 
have those in there in, in an accepted status. You can do it however you want. You can leave them in the accepted status. I like to move them to undecided. Um, again, these are projects I said I would bid on. And I didn't get to them in time. Oops. And now I'm going to change the status to, to declined. And back to undecided again. These ones without a date, I'll look at those later. There might be some information in there that gives a date. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and decline these old ones because they're too far past to bid on. Someone may call back. They might go out for rebid. Someone may call and want a bid on them. You can go find them and dig them out of the trash. It's really rare to do so. If any company sent it out for rebid, they would send a whole new invitation. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to delete these old ones. Decline to bid on them. Move them into the client status. Accept it again. I accept a lot of jobs. I'm just one guy right now i'm just biggie b i do have estimators but this is more of my training account so i have a bunch of jobs i i said i would bid on and the bid line passed so now i'm going to change i'm going to move them to declined status that way they're not clogging up uh my inbox they're not in the accepted status confusing me or my estimators they're past the bid date and they're getting archived as declined so i'm going to change the status from accepted to declined it's going to automatically archive the opportunity when i had saved so i'm going to get some of these out of the way I apologize for not getting to them in time. But that's how it goes when you're busy. All right. I'll do a few more of these. Okay, now undecided. We have submitted here on the same. We'll just continue with the same menu bar here. So we have undecided, accepted, submitted. These are projects that we've submitted on. And they stay in this database. You can delete them, but it's good to have them. You can run your analytics. This is just the free building connected account. We haven't paid for the upgrade. This is just the free version that you would use. These are some projects that we've won. Uh, Kohl's, Natural Grocers, Home Depot. Um, and these are projects that we've won through Building Connected. And then on this tab, here's our archived projects. Uh, we've been doing this. I've been using Building Connected for five years or six years or so. So I've got, uh, I got a lot in here built, built up. over time and this is the archive it just stays in there i mean they never empty it they, they must have a endless data center it's wild but uh yeah, these are old projects that i accepted and uh i didn't i didn't turn a bid in, around on them i guess so every once in a while i go through here and try to clean this up a little too 
change the status from accepted to declined. I was a vendor. I can't do anything. It's just stuck in there. Uh, vendor send me invitations to bid. So yeah, we can just you can move these around as you needed. These are jobs that uh, again I accepted, but I didn't turn around to bid on, and they got archived. I can go in and change them. Not that it matters. These are from 2020, so I can change them to declined. Or I could just let them sit in there. It really doesn't affect. Doesn't really doesn't matter or affect anything on the day to day invitations. So yeah, that's your archive. There's in the archive. You can see your archive undecided. You can see your archive accepted. You can see your archive submitted. You can see your archive one lost, other declined, or you can see them individually. If you just wanted to see your archive submitted ones. So in this in this menu tab, we have undecided, accepted, submitted, and one, and archived. I'm going to go back to undecided. Now I'm going to add some jobs that I want to do. So you can see I have down here on the bottom right, I have one. I'm on the first of 12 pages. If I hit this double arrow, it's going to take me all the way to the 12th page, which is going to be by date the furthest out of the bids. Uh, there's only two on here because it's the last page. Masonry, building insulation. Uh, I don't want to do those scopes of work, uh, though sometimes I do and sometimes my customers do, so I will bid on those projects. Bid on those projects for you if that's what you want. Uh, so nothing there. I'm going to go back to page 11. And you can see here the dates. These are the bids are due uh, January 31st. Site utilities, no. I can choose what I want to bid on. Grading, site demo, selective demo, SWIP plan and monitoring. Yes, I bid on that. I do that. I'm nationally certified to do that. From the University of Minnesota. So I like this project. It's in Texas. That's fine. I'm in Colorado. I travel. Uh, it's for SWIT planning and monitoring. And I'm going to bid on that. So I'm going to hit that green check mark that I'm going to bid. And what it did was it just uh, moved it over into the accepted category. So I'm going to continue down this page, site, uh, site work, I guess, site work. I don't know exactly what they mean by site work. I'm just going to leave that alone. Erosion control, that's what I do. One of the things I do with one of my companies, I'm going to bid on that. EFs, I don't do that. I have a customer that does, so sometimes I bid for him on that. Masonry, no. Site work. Uh, striping, erosion, and other. Wow, that's uh, kind of a lot going on in there. I, I don't do striping, but I will do erosion, so let me just check that, I guess. Earthwork, grading, asphalt, masonry, King Supers, piles and caissons. Uh, site utilities, grading and paving, shoring, fire suppression, demolition. I mean, I do some demolition. I don't know. It's it's easy. Sometimes you get your get your aggression out, you know. I'm gonna leave it alone for now though. Bathroom accessories, EFs, masonry, structural precast, aggregate and asphalt, selective demolition, site work, demo, site work. Okay, nothing there. I want to excavation, curb, unit paving, rigid paving, planting. Okay, so we do landscape. That's 
we do, or one of my companies, Owl Environmental, we do stormwater pollution protection plan, design, BMP implementation, inspections, BMP maintenance, all that stuff, the SWIP and erosion control, and then we do the land irrigation and landscaping as well. So here we have planting. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Uh, Viviano Clubhouse and pool at Saratoga Springs. Saratoga Springs, Utah. It's very nice there. I live in Colorado. It's not far. Uh, this is due on January 26th at 4 p.m. And we're going to bid on it. So I'm going to click the green check mark and say that we're bidding. And now it's going to move that into my accepted category. Site work, masonry, building insulation, internal. Here's SWIP and erosion control in Magna, Utah. We're going to go ahead and say we're going to bid on that. More SWIP. I love it. Let's see. More SWIP. Littleton, Colorado. That's literally in our backyard. Uh, we live in Denver. And Littleton's a suburb of Denver. So that's right here. We're definitely going to bid on that. Asphalt, site concrete, landscape again in Littleton. Yes, we're going to bid on that. Uh, site concrete, landscape, Chick fil A, Deerfield Beach, Florida. That's a stretch. That's pretty far away, but uh, I definitely like Florida in the wintertime and I have friends and family who live there. So we'll say yes to that. Whether we get to it or not, I don't know. But we're, for now, we're going to say yes. And if we don't get to it, there'll be other bidders that do. I don't think they're going to hold it against us too much. But, you know, you want to do what you say you're going to do. So if you if you say you're going to put in a bid, it's best that you do. Um, you know, but sometimes you just can't get to them all. So I think that's good for now. We move some over. From undecided to accepted. And then up here is a different uh, menu board. Obviously, this is the menu board for the paid for version. And as you can see, they just, uh, oh, I can't scroll, it's weird. I can scroll in the uh, in the screen sharing, but as you can see, it's uh, they just try to sell you the paid for version again. Leaderboard, analytics, reports, settings. That's all more. That's all for the uh, paid for version, except for the settings. I guess you can come in here, and you can adjust some stuff. View office settings. It's my tradecraft office. Employees. Here's my estimator, so she's in, in here with us. Uh, again, request a demo, request a demo. They're constantly trying to sell you the upgraded version, which I don't think you need. I mean, you can use this as a CRM to track all your pre-construction bidding. Permissions, see request a demo, bid forwarding, request a demo. All these functions they try to get you to pay for. Um, you know, I run multi-million dollar construction businesses and I've never used the paid for version of this. So I guess if you want to do the paid for version and use it more like a CRM to manage your pre-construction bidding process, you can do that. I'm not sure, at least in this video, we won't get into how it integrates with other software. I'm not sure, but I guess if it's Autodesk, it's going to integrate with all their other tools. Again, I don't do the paid for version. I guess don't don't tell uh, Building Connected or or Autodesk. But yeah, I just I just rock the free version, and uh, it does quite well for me. Uh, over here on this menu board, you can see this is where you can make some other adjustments. Bryce Perkins, that's me. Here's my profile. You can edit your profile. I'm not going to, but in here, Bryce Perkins, Chief Estimator, Senior Project Manager. There's my 1-800 number, my mobile number, my pretty, pretty picture. 
Um, I can edit that information if I need to. Account information. This you may edit uh, more often. I don't know. But your profile is more personal. Account is more company. So my company is Bees Industries. Leave the company. I'm not going to do that. Here's my email. I can add additional emails. If say I wanted estimating at beesindustries.com and, and then the invitations would just go there and I wouldn't have them in my personal email box. You can add or you had estimators, you can you can add that they get the invites as well. Um maybe I'll just do that now actually. I'm gonna add Rochelle. Oh, already has an account. I guess it's for she's already a member of my my team. So I guess that would be more if she weren't. Um, plan grid Procore. You can connect to your Procore account. That's that's a good thing to have. Start page. I always start mine at the bid board time zone. I'm in Mountain Time. I'm in Denver. My language is English. And measurement units imperial for me. Metric for you if that's what you prefer. Uh, notifications. I would like to receive email notifications for messages, RFPs. That's just for everybody. Every every invite I get, I get an email. Doesn't bother me. It may bother you. I don't know. You can change it, turn it on and off, whatever. Bees Industries, here's my company profile. Employees, there's Rochelle, there's myself. That's my little two person team right now. Company profile, here's where I can put information. I ask questions, you, you hit edit, and you can. I'm non union, I do prevailing wage, small business enterprise. You can change all this information. When you hit edit, you can add all, all you need to add about your business. There's my address, phone numbers. Here's the work, the different types of work that I'll either bid on for my, one of my companies or one of our customers' companies. Here's my geographical area. Um, yeah, I'll cover a lot of territory. I love the Midwest because I live here in Denver. So I'll cover uh, all of the Western Midwest and the West. I prefer not to go to California, uh, the left coast. I was too heavily regulated. <laughs> it's harder to deal with. Uh, Florida, that's where I'm from. So I go there and um, up here in the Northeast, I don't know why I picked those up. Um, because I don't really go there very often. Again, that's sort of like the left coast over here in New York area. It's all unions and regulations. And it's pretty hard to deal with. So I don't know. I should I should get rid of those and I should add more of the Midwest. I love the Midwest. It's easy, easy folks to work with. And uh, the municipalities and the, the uh, building apartments are generally much easier to work with than the left coast or the right coast. Tend to be more strict on the regulations. I won't mess with it for now, but I can add states just by clicking on them or I can get rid of states by clicking on them. Territories, whatever, if you don't cover the whole state. You can add certifications that you picked up along the way. Projects, again, this is going to be uh, part of the paid for version where you're tracking projects and stuff. So see how it says upgrade. That's, but again, it's more of the CRM part. Here's our bid board where we were. That button just takes you there. 
qualifications. You can come in here and you can add certifications, qualifications. Um, I believe this is part of it. I think I tried to and they prompted it to the paid for version. So I think I tried to add some of my certs and it like wouldn't let me because it tried to prompt me to pay or something like that. And it's going to space and back. Okay. Oh, trade taps, invites. Yeah. Again, it's part of the paid for version. I don't know, it's sort of like a community that they're trying to build a community of subcontractor partners and GC partners type thing. I don't know. So there's kind of a lot of stuff in here for me that never gets used. Um, this is just notifications if I want to go read them. A job that I said yes to probably added in an addendum. See. Invited to bids is just your messages, you know. Someone added an addendum, someone invited you to bid, it all shows up here. It's like you almost never read it. Um, again, so like there's a lot going on in here um, that doesn't get used by me, and I don't think it needs to. This is just the beginning training. Um, if you want, I can buy the paid for version and I can uh, go about, set about. Um, learning all the functions of the paid for version, but there's other CRMs out there. That's that's you know, I don't know that this is necessary for the paid for version. The free bid board is necessary. Yeah, because you need to you're going to get invitations to bid, but I use other software to manage that. You know, I use Microsoft Teams or or Google G Suite or even Dropbox. And then there's a ton of CRM softwares you know, like Builder Trend and Job Nimbus and on and on and on. There's so many. So I don't know that it's necessary to use Building Connected as the um, as your CRM platform unless you're bidding on so many projects that you need it just to manage the CRM part of the bidding process, maybe. But again, it's it's just a bunch of unnecessary tools, if you ask me. All you need is the free version. You come in here, you, you start a profile, you put what you do, you put your area that you'll cover, and uh, you reach out to GCs and you get start getting invitations to bid and you can see I get them by the thousands. Um, then you go to your undecided. Last little recap. Once you're in undecided, you can get rid of the old ones because they're past due. So we're not gonna bid on those. We're going to decline. Right. Sometimes they get stuck in there like that one right there with uh, 626. It won't go away no matter how much I try to X out of it. It's like a glitch or something and it says, I don't know, it just sits there. So we'll just leave it there. No harm, no foul. Uh, these ones with no dates, I don't know, Rocky Mountain pre-construction update. <laughs> Rocky Mountain pre construct oh, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, but I'll leave them there, see if something comes out of it. Um, let's see if we can find something to bid on here. I'm looking for SWIP, erosion control, landscaping, planting, irrigation, that type of stuff. Because that's what I want to bid on right now. Again, if I didn't set these parameters to say that I do these types of trades, they wouldn't show up in here. Say, say I was just a landscaper and that's all I put in my profile is that I'm only a landscaper. I'm only, I'm only going to get invitations to bid for landscaping. Um, the reason why I have these different scopes of work in here is I, I have multiple companies. I do different scopes of work with my different companies that I own. And then I bid on projects for customers. So some of these scopes of work I don't do, but my customers do the scope of work and I and I do the bidding and estimating for them. See, here's erosion control, public storage. Tullis in Arizona. That's not too far. I go to Arizona. It's due uh, January 26. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna bid on that.
erosion control. I'm going to bid on that. And we'll just finish off this page and see if there's anything on here. I want to bid only. Mm. Existing conditions, erosion control. So that's it for that page. I chose everything I wanted on there. Again, in my accepted, I have projects in here that I, I didn't get to, so I'm going to change the status to declined. And they're going to automatically get archived as declined rather than accepted. And that's how I'm going to get rid of these old ones that I said I would bid on, but I didn't get to in time. And that's just sort of how I'm going to manage the first step in my building connected workflow. Now, again, this is after you would have started your free account and figured out at least how to log in. And this video will help you, you know, get started and get going. I'm going to do another video uh, after this that we're going to go further um, and show you how to download the blueprints, communicate with the customer, turn around the bids, or there's obviously more to it. Uh, we're just sort of managing the, the inbox. So this is sort of the first step of what I do, Bryce Perkins, Bees Industries, and what I can do for you, or we can do, my team and I, or what we can show your team how to do. So if you're trying to get bigger better contracts you're trying to get from the residential to the commercial you're trying to get more commercial projects whatever the case may be let us help you uh, this video can help you get started um, yeah go to buildingconnected.com download the free version the free trial and and then get going let's see here all right Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free training videos and look out for Building Connected training number two in the next few days and we'll get a little deeper in the process. Again, Bryce Perkins, Bees Industries. Thanks for watching.